So this is session one of two for Passion de las Pasiones, which is an ash can from Magpie Games, uh, which they uh, uh, released sort of just before the, the Christmas holidays. And uh, I, I picked that up and uh, along with the ward is the other one. Um, but this one is just, uh, there's something really lovely about it. We're gonna be playing this. It is a quote unquote Latino Telenova powered by the apocalypse. Um, and I'm gonna talk about what that means because you may have noticed I'm a super white. Uh, so uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about uh, uh, the implications of that in a bit. Um, we're gonna play, kind of, kind of embrace the themes of uh, the telenovela, uh, not to par the point of parody, but we're gonna, gonna appreciate uh, that kind of melodrama that that comes that that has its echoes in American soap operas and uh, Korean K dramas and there's there's all these different forms all around the world. So the concept is uh, we have a, a group of characters. They are all characters in a telenovela. Uh, they are our dramatic characters. They aren't aware that they're in a telenovela like Primetime Adventures, um, but uh, that they are those archetypes operating there. And we're going to play out that drama. That's our aim, is to, to play all the twists and turns for people to throw monkey wrenches for swerves to happen throughout. Things should change up and people should bounce off each other uh, uh, in this. Uh, the tone is TV level. Uh, violence occurs, but gore and those kinds of things are, are sort of off, off scene. Um, it can, can be a world of, of violence, but everyone is still beautiful. Um, and uh, it can still be watched in prime time uh, without anybody having too much of an objection. Um, and uh, for the final S, the S of cats is subject matter. And the subject matter is beautiful people with complications, I think is the subject matter that I'm going to, to stick with. Um, now, uh, I, at one point in my life, was fluent in Spanish. Uh, but it was when I was six and we lived in Mexico City. Uh, I have lost all of that. Uh, and I never was able to pick up Spanish after that. Uh, so uh, my, my background is in Arabic. So when I pronounce things, it will not sound right. I'm going to apologize for that right now um, if I'm kidding names and things like that. Uh, so this is, this is someone who appreciates these things um, but is not as great uh, about them. So uh, understand that. Uh, on a related note, this is part of the gauntlet, uh, the, the, our, our gauntlet hangouts. Uh, all of the hangouts use various safety tools. Uh, so uh, what the tool that we're using for this game is the X card. Is everybody familiar with the X card? Where? Okay, so everyone here has played. Uh, you can do that either by sending me a note or, or you can do the X there. We use the X card for subject matter, things that you're not comfortable with. Uh, problems of tone, all of those things can be X carded. Uh, and essentially when you do the X card, we'll stop, we'll edit past it or redact and move on from there. No questions asked, except I may want to see exactly where we need to be, be cutting on that. There are lots and lots of safety tools available to people for online games. I use the X card because in the short span that I'm running, uh, uh, it's the quickest and easiest tool. There are a lot more out there that that engage with those questions in depth, but uh, I'm using this one for the sort of ease of play. Um, so uh, let me talk then a little bit about this system. Uh, I've put the uh, uh, play materials there uh, in the folder that has the, the, the PDF that you can see that has the basic moves and has the playbooks and, and all of those things. I've also copied uh, the basic moves into uh, a tab uh, on our character holder so you can see those. What happens when you want to do a roll is uh, rather than looking at a stat, you're going to ask a question. Um, and uh, you will see that each character has a particular question that it always asks. For example, uh, Le Beliza, uh, the beauty, asks, are you the center of attention? If the answer to that is yes, she, uh, he or she gets a plus one to their role. And then on each of the basic moves, they have two questions that you ask and, are, and you answer yes or no. Each yes gets you another plus one. So the max you're gonna be rolling with is plus three. 
Um, you're going to be tying your own personal question into the two questions that are shown uh, on each of the basic moves. And I'll, I'll go back and uh, uh, put those in italics. So they're a little easier to uh, pull out from there, but you can, can see that. So that's one of the, the basic uh, setups here. Uh, a little bit different from standard things. You see we've got basic moves, and then on another tab we have flashback moves. These are where you go back and, uh, uh, like Blades in the Dark, uh, we go and we, we change things up. Uh, we spend a, a little bit of, of stress. Now, they they have some additional different rules to them, so you may want to check back to them, but you can flash back to making a deal with somebody, to preparations, or if you want to reveal a shocking truth, these are all things that you can do with those flashback moves. Uh, you may notice that you have uh, a stress track on your character sheet, and I've got little drop downs there. Since you have seven drop boxes, uh, and at a certain point, uh, you'll hit these those question marks I've shown there, uh, and you're going to have to choose one of those states, either distracted or frazzled which causes problems to those particular roles associated with them. But eventually you get a little bit angry um, and uh, you can get uh, bonuses to that. So it's a little bit like seventh C, you take some damage, you get weaker, you take some damage, you get better. The, that stress track will go up. Eventually you'll hit meltdown. That's the last box in the stress track is melting down, uh, uh, at which point uh, you're gonna throw away your leverage. Um, so those are the, the big ones. Now, the other interesting thing about this, and this is the first time I've encountered this kind of system. It's not something I'm used to. I, I know I, it's been in other games, but uh, uh, experience comes from audience reactions. You want to have the audience react in a particular way, and the audience is everyone else who is not playing. Um, so, uh, for example, uh, with our uh, uh, El Gamelo, our twin here, uh, uh, the audience reaction is uh, the twin gets to mark XP when the father who's watching the show uh, uh, gets confused about who you are and what you're plotting. So when it gets that, when it gets super complicated and somebody goes, oh, oh what's going on? You know, playing the father at home on the couch watching this, they get to, to mark XP at that point. Um, uh, La Empa, Empaleda, uh, the employee, uh, they mark XP when the abuela, the, the grandmother, says, pobrecita, which is poor baby, which is uh, a phrase I know well from my childhood. Um, so, uh, or it was pobrecito, I think. But anyway, uh, that's that's that one. Now, uh, we also have El, El Jefe, right? Uh, uh, El Jefe gets to mark XP when the audience gasps at the horror of your actions. Um, so we know we've got those three. Uh, I think Kyle, you were still picking, right? Yeah, I'm gonna go with the, the Bazella. Okay, the beauty, all right. Uh, in that case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide columns on the El Caballero and La Donna and hide those. That should bring everything to, together a little bit for everybody. And yours is uh, Mark XP when a family member whistles in appreciation of your beauty. So when you, you play yourself as, as beautiful, handsome or beautiful, whichever, because um, gender is it's up to you on what gender you want to play these as, uh, that's when you mark XP. Uh, I've talked to Garrett. Garrett uh, Reinhouse played this at uh, uh, the, the Metatopia. And he said at the table, it was, it, was, it was great. We'll see how well this functions online, but keep that in mind. Um, if you wanna like do that, uh, that appreciation and we're in a scene, you can kind of try to catch our attention and do that so that we can, we can get those, those points distributed. Um, it is your classic five points uh, 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 to get an advance and advance gets you a move. Um, that's the big stuff. That's a, that's, that's, it's a lot of it. We're going to be playing through these moves. We'll be seeing how they go. Uh, I'm going to try and call to the moves when when it occurs to me that they're going on. But also feel free to go. And because we are learning this, maybe to say, I'm going to do this. I think I'm leaning into this move. I know, I know the general intent is to stay away from naming them, but we may have to to get used to them. Um, are, any questions about the, the mechanics there? Anything that I've missed in my discussion of the system? 
Okay. Um, so uh, uh, there are some moves that uh, allow you to spend leverage or to gain leverage on people. Um, uh, leverage, I want to get the exact uses for that because it has a couple of them. I'm going to find that stress. Uh, so leverage, you can spend after a roll uh, made against that person who owes you. You can spend that and get a plus one. So it's a spendable resource if you if you have leverage on someone. Um, if someone is rolling against you and you have leverage on them, you can spend that. You can actually spend up to three to subtract that from their roll. Um, the other thing that you can do with leverage is if someone is is on you, is berating you, is 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 in your face, you can spend leverage on them to get a moment to, to get a word in edgewise. To, to 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 break and pause something happens that that gives you a chance to 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 say something before the the scene moves on all right so we've got our our characters here the la beliza la empanada like gemlo el jefe um let's think before we even go much further about the crux of the situation what is the the thing that this is going to revolve around? Uh, is it is it a hotel? Uh, is it a resort? Is there a a massive upscale shopping complex that that someone owns and runs? Is there a company? Is it a ranch? Uh, uh, you know, is it what what are you guys thinking? Any suggestions for something you'd like to see as sort of the 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 crux of this? What everything is going to circle around? I mean, I'm good with whatever, but in my mind, I was kind of imagining a uh, sort of a huge, um, sprawling, uh, colonial-style compound. You know, very ah, upscale, like like the like a wealthy family, and most of our uh, uh, for some, you know, un unspecified company or a company that will get specified in the course of this. But there is this sort of uh, uh, Dallas-worthy ranch that uh, yeah. people come to and, and so on as a kind of a crossroads. Yeah, what do you guys think? I think the yeah. idea. Yeah, sounds, sounds good to me. me. Okay. I'm doing. So we'll we'll come up with a, a name for that that estate here in a, a minute. Now, we've got these these characters. Um, so what I, I want you to do is, is uh, take a look. Uh, you've got some questions to answer about props, which, uh, are listed on your playbooks themselves. If you look on the PDF, you'll see each playbook has a list of props. I didn't want to jam those into the character sheet. Uh, so that's one of the things you're gonna pick. Uh, you should also describe yourself and give yourself a name. Uh, once everybody's done that, then I'm going to have everyone introduce themselves and we'll start doing those relationship questions and we'll all ask you some leading questions about your character. So I can't do much of my character creation until everyone else has kind of, uh, you know, introduced theirs. So I That's think right. I'll have to kind of wait till the end, I guess. <laughs> Absolutely. We will, we will do okay. the twin last. Nice. <laughs> okay. So are we? Are, I'm sorry, I missed. It. Are we choosing props, or do we, do we just have the props that are that you've got listed there? Uh, under the props, they're actually listed on your playbook in the PDF. Yeah. Oh, and you get to choose up to three that are listed there for you. Okay. And of course, you'll also have to choose which move you want to take. I should also say for structural considerations, so you're aware, uh, we play till uh, about uh, 1030 Eastern time. Um, if we'll, we'll end, if we get to a good uh, mid-episode cliffhanger, uh, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll stop then. Uh, and we'll try, I'll try and get a little bit of feedback at, at the end as uh, time. We'll also take a break at the midpoint. 
A couple of you have not played with me before. Uh, so I, I forgot to mention this. I have a horrible Hoosier accent. So if at any point you cannot understand what I am saying, and I've had this happen because sometimes I talk really fast, please feel free to go, wait, 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 Lowell, what the hell did you just say? I will not take offense. <laughs> just know that that is on the table. Oh, yeah. Along those lines, just um, in case, and obviously you don't have to do this or not, but if if you would like um, to pronounce some of the stuff with a little more ease, just remember that everything is phonetic. You pronounce every letter in general, and the the two L's together are pronounced as a Y. Okay, that's right. So it's la belleza. Be 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 I can roll my R's, but not not get the Y there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm in kind of the same boat you were in. Uh, well, a little bit, a little more remainder left, but not much. Okay, they, they, they're certainly lucky then. I just speak German, so. Oh. <laughs> a different set of uh, hard consonants there. Picking a name is the worst. Yeah. So, Brian? Yes. Uh, have you decided on what you're going to take for your, for your uh, additional move? I think you get two more. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. I think, let me, let me check and make sure. Now you get that, that starting uh, thing, and then you get, oh, you get one more. One more? Okay. Yeah, Keys to the Castle, Confession, or Bad Side of Town. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to start. I'm going to uh, 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 essentially talk with each of you about uh, your character, what you're thinking about appearance-wise, all of that. Uh, uh, ask some questions. We'll, we'll talk about the props and the, the moves. And uh, have you give me a sense of who that is. So I'm going to actually move. Uh, we'll skip Jesse to the last, but I'm going to start here. Uh, Kyle, um, let's uh, have you tell us about how you're picturing uh, Marcella. 
Um, so Marcella, I'll start with her props, maybe. Sure. Um, so she has, you know, one of those dog dog purse things um, okay. with her dog peanut in it. Um, I had picked a driver who handles things because it felt useful. Okay. But we had a compound. I don't know if that makes sense. It could certainly be a butler or a servant. You know, the driver right. has multiple roles. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I'm still into it. Um, and then the best seat in a restaurant. Um, uh, so as for looks, um, I was picturing her, um, you know, being like often on with a cell phone in her hands. Um, makes sense to me. Um, you know, Surrounded, surrounded by like her click a lot. I would imagine. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a pretty girl. So uh, tall, short. Uh, how are you mentioning her sort of physical features? Yeah, tall, long hair. Okay. Um, dressed very chic. Um, you know, lots of jewelry and like dangly bits. So she has this dog in a bag uh, uh, that there's a, a classic, classic, uh, you know, motif for, for the wealthy. Is that something she actually cares about or is it, is it very much just a, uh, a fashion statement? Uh. Yeah, no, I think it's like, I think it's like the classic, her little baby kind of thing, you know? Okay. Yeah. I think she's, she likes her dog. And uh, so we've got this the sprawling estate. What's her relationship to the estate? Is she the the daughter of somebody who's in charge? How are you picturing that? Yeah, I was picturing her to be like the child of of some rich person. I, I guess the estate owner could make sense. Okay. Um, so you know, classic entitled spoiled kid. All right. Uh, so we'll, we'll kind of uh, we'll, we'll kind of talk about that. We'll we'll, we'll bounce that between the you and the El, El Jefe and kind of figure out where where oh, right. that is at because um, I think the two of you can 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 uh, find a, a good position there. Um, do you imagine that uh, uh, that she treats the staff well or not well? Uh, no, not well. Not well at all. Okay. No. Um, uh, uh, is is there something though that in your mind redeems her as a character? The thing that that if we see it on screen might might make us have a little bit of sympathy for her. Right. Right. Um. Yeah. Maybe like animals are her thing. Maybe okay. like you know. Any little like injured animal or or thing like that, she really like takes a a motherly role towards and and stuff. Uh, I assume then uh, probably someone who rides uh, an equestrian as well. Probably has yeah. uh, horses on the estate. Yeah. All right. All right. That gives me some thoughts here. I'm gonna swing back to you in a bit, but I want to check in with with everybody else. Uh, except for one thing, what did you choose for your moves? Oh, for the moves, yeah. Um, so I chose big entrance. Oh, good. Um, and I chose hard to pin down. Okay. Um, should I talk through what they do so that? Yeah, let, let's knows? have you uh, uh, give give your take on it so everybody else kind of knows what those are are going to involve. Okay. So big entrance. Um, so whenever I like enter a scene dramatically, um, I can burn a leverage to force someone to like obviously stare at me, um, and they have to act with desperation before acting against me. Ah. Um, and then if they get a mid result, um, instead of the MC telling them a cost or complication, I take something from them or take leverage back. Mm. 
and gotcha. if they miss, um, I get both leverage and and something. Dun dun dun. That is nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then hard to pin down. So when someone tries to express their love to me or accuse me of lying or tries to spot something out of place with me, I can interfere. Um, and I roll up the questions. Are they being cruel? And uh, are we in public? Um, and if I get a hit, they take minus two to their roll. Uh, on a 10 plus, I also take leverage over them or clear a stress. And on a miss, they get a 10 plus no matter what they roll. Oof. And I give them leverage. Super risky. That's risky. nice. Yeah. All right. All right. Let me uh, uh, jump forward and uh, talk to Brian. Uh, uh, is that uh, Nieves? It is. Okay. So talk, tell us about who who he is or she. Is it he or she? It's a she. I have a little picture she. I've inserted there at the bottom. Oh, okay. Um, so uh, she uh, she is an attractive young lady um, who uh, does not plan to be an empleada her entire life. Um, but she's been doing this for uh, for a number of years now at the estate, and um, she uh, is uh, known for her flowery diary, her little servant's room, and her big set of jangly keys. Um, I have a move called Keys to the Castle, um, which allows me to go about my business and perhaps overhear what's going on. Um, and uh, I guess by the, when we're done with this, I'll have to choose two suitors um, who are courting me, even if I'm already in a relationship. <laughs> so, so we shall see. <laughs> okay. And that's something we can come. Well, we can swing back to once everybody's introduced themselves, and and we'll see uh, how how that is. Um, uh, so, uh, with that keys to the castle move, the, the sort of the going about your business, um, uh, you get to. Uh, uh, it looks like you get to kind of escape uh, from attention, is what that's doing there, right? Is that how you're reading that? Yeah, it sounds like um, I listen in. I hear the scene, maybe, um, but then for me to get away without being seen, I have to sort of roll well, and otherwise there are some complications. Okay. You know, I might um, knock over a vase in my hurry to to get out of the room or okay slam a door. That that seems uh, uh, workable to me. There, that gives me a little bit of sense. Um, so you mentioned the little servant's room. How little? What are we talking here? Are we talking Harry Potter closet, or is it is it just very, very primitive? Um, it's probably, you know, maybe two or three times the size of Harry Potter's closet. Okay. Um, you know, it's really not much more room. It's just room for a, uh, a single bed, uh, a very small dresser, and a tiny night table with, uh, you know, a Virgin Mary on it. Oh, okay. That's, that's pretty uh, much it. Uh, devoutly Catholic? Oh, yeah. Okay. And uh, I mark XP when um, it says the abuela, but I guess yeah. that could be anybody. It says uh, pobrecita, which means, oh, poor Nieves. And uh, um, does she have like a any kind of secret hobbies or anything is, is there, is there some side to her that is, is more sophisticated or, or, uh, is creative or that, that she longs for? Uh, yeah, she, um, she enjoys writing and, uh, and also, uh, reading. So, uh, sometimes, you know, when she gets a chance, uh, in the library, she'll, she'll spend a little bit too much time in there. And she always tries to make time at the end of the day to, uh, to write her magnum opus in her diary. And of course, no one's supposed to touch the books in the library on the shelves, right? Of course not. No, yeah, those are like first editions, Excellent. literally brought from from Spain. Yeah. Um. Uh. Does she have many friends among the staff, or is she on her own? How do you picture that? Um. Hmm. I mean, I think she uh, she probably gets along with Marcelo's driver. But uh, 
you know, um, he gets to drive around in the big car and maybe he looks down on her a little bit. So um, they're not like friendly, friendly, but, uh, you know, they, they talk. Is her driver handsome or, or more of an older? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, Marcella, what do you think about your driver? Um, yeah, I was maybe like a youngish, not kid, but like a youngish guy. Like a transporter. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so of course, a young man, but, but uh, certainly has has amongst the household staff pictures himself as perhaps above the standard cleaning servant, right? Right. Yeah. Certain amount of, of arrogance, but you may know where he comes from. You know mm, the secrets behind all might. that. <laughs> all right. All right. Um, anything else I want to? Say? So we got the moves. Okay, I'm gonna we're gonna swing back and check out your suitors thing uh, when we get a little further on. Okay. All right, cool. Uh, let's talk with El Jefe, uh, Alejandro uh, Delgado. Hola. Hola. <laughs> so tell us about Alejandro. Alejandro is an asshole. Um, <laughs> fancy suits. Uh, he's got an eye patch. Um, uh, his hair is always like oiled or slicked back. Um, he's got uh, a really well-groomed mustache. Um, he's a little older, maybe middle-aged, um, but not, you know, really old. And he takes good care of himself because he doesn't do anything. He's rich, so he can just stay at home all day and plot crimes and work out. Um, uh, yeah, his... Um, his props are a mansion, an eye patch, and a crazily large pistol. Um, All right. Um, he's got uh, a little crew of thugs that uh, follow him around to do whatever he wants. Their names are Miguel, Rafael, Gabriel, and Yolanda. Okay. Um, and uh, he also has the move Dangerous Passion. When you angrily express your love, make the role to express your love passionately, but add all the questions for strike out at someone with voice or violence to the list. Okay. Um, so this is an interesting thing. So we've got this sprawling estate. Um, do you imagine that uh, El Jefe is is the, the owner or is he one of the people that share this larger compound? You know, is is his maybe his brother in charge or his sister or what? What's the relationship here? I was, I don't know. Um, I was kind of torn between you know the being the guy in charge or just being like, I kind of like the being the brother of the guy in charge. Okay, what's your what's your brother's name? Um, uh, uh, Jesus. Jesus. Okay. And uh, uh, so uh, uh, you inherited not the full family estate, but, you know, a, certainly a mansion. Yeah, it's a, you know, the small mansion. <laughs> okay. And uh, uh, what kind of criminal activities is uh, Alejandro uh, involved in? Oh, um, probably uh, drugs. Um, okay. It feels like the kind of, crime he could do where he's not actually doing anything. He has other people who go, you know, smuggle drugs or sell drugs and he can just sit at home and reap the profits. Yeah. You can see the appeal. Yeah. yeah. It's good Does, work if you can get it. Yeah. <laughs> Is it an open secret that you're a crime lord or do you keep a, a you know, a more, uh, a pleasant face among your family there? What, how, how do they perceive you? Um, I think they know that I'm, you know, not a great person, but probably none of the specifics of what I do. Okay. Uh, our, uh, so we know that your brother Jesus is, is there, is in charge. Are either your mother or your father still alive? I think they've probably both passed on at this okay. point. Okay. Um, 
uh, uh, so you probably then uh, Marcella's uncle is mm -hmm. probably what we're what we're looking at there. Uh, do you have any children of your own? Um, legitimate or otherwise? <laughs> probably some illegitimate ones. Okay. Uh, but none that I you know have a relationship with. Okay. And uh, 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 do your do your thugs? Do they have the run of the estate? Do they are they uh, lounging around the the household for, for you to to ring the bell to call them? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think okay. uh, I tend to keep them pretty close at hand, and uh, but they do wander about. Sometimes get up to trouble on their own. Wife, mistress, what a, what what situation? Um, I think I am married. Uh, okay. Unhappily. Okay. Um, all right. And, and so, uh, uh, kind of a trophy wife or someone your age? How are you imagining that? Um, probably someone more my age. Okay. So we'll we'll Nate we'll call her Adriana. Sounds good. Adriana Delgado. All right. Uh, Sorry, my girlfriend just knocked in. Silently asked me if I wanted any wine. That's why I was oh, a little distracted. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Well, that gives me uh, stuff to 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 work with. Um, I'm gonna now come to our twin, uh, 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 Jesse. Yeah. What are you thinking? Oh man. I, so I've got ideas for everyone. I, I guess my my character sheet specifically <laughs> tells me it tells me to ask the basically ask the group. Does anybody want a twin? I've got ideas for every single one of you. So. Um, anybody specifically want a twin that you probably don't know about? Ooh. Ooh. Or, or it could be, or you could know about it, but I might just occasionally pretend to be you. <laughs> <laughs> Either way. Any, anybody wanting that or not? That's a hard call. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm down if uh, I can have a, th a third sibling, or I guess a second sibling. Uh -huh. I kind of um, love that. Yeah. Okay. Up, up to you. Like, it, it could work with any of the other characters too. But I've got, I've got some good material for for being the El Jefe's uh, twin. So, all right. That could be amazing. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm, in, I'm into this. Okay. All right. I've got, I've got kind of ideas going here. Um. All right. Uh. So here's here's what i'm imagining and tell me if this sounds good so obviously i mean this is like you know the tv you know tv show so same actor playing both characters right uh, you know I, I wrote down your entire description and this thing that stood out to me was your eye patch my imagining is that i look identical to you in every single way except the eye patches on the other eye <laughs> no one else, no one else <laughs> notice, right no one else seems to notice except except we're gonna have to talk and someone actually does know who i am but um yeah so i think that's the big uh, the big difference is that are you, like are you left eye or am i like which eye do you have an eye patch on? Uh, i think my right eye is covered okay then i've got i call the left <laughs> okay <laughs> That that works for me. <laughs> all right, all right. So um... <laughs> now let me ask you this: uh, I I imagine that El Jefe, if he has the eye patch, he actually doesn't have an eye, or there's something wrong with his eye there. Yeah. Uh, it just has has to be because he wouldn't wear such a mark otherwise. Totally. Um, uh, unless of course I guess revealed that it isn't. But anyway, um, right. uh, so uh, uh, your character, do they? Uh, have a functioning eye, or are they just wearing is, the eye patch covered? It is functioning. It is functioning. I just do that for the disguise as I'm trying to, you know, uh, basically impersonate El Jefe. And so here's my idea. I, I kind of decided I, I have to go opposite as far as personality goes. So you're yes. the asshole, and I am very much not. Uh, <laughs> I imagine that my character is maybe a, like, and and of course you have a lot of input on this because we're we're kind of working on this together. But um, mm -hmm. my imagining was that. I'm kind of like a long lost twin that you have no idea exists. I grew up, you know, just kind of like working in like charities and stuff like that and doing all <laughs> sorts of true humanitarian work. Uh, but I think I got sick and um, I need an organ transplant. So I happened to discover in this process that I have this long lost twin. And instead of coming and talking to you, which would make the most sense, instead my idea is to find out more about you and whether I can approach you about it by impersonating you and getting to know all the people that you know. <laughs> <laughs> so. and, and learning 
learning that though you've devoted your life to charity, uh -huh. all your good works have been, you know, offset by the evil Absolutely. that your, yeah. your, your twin has, uh, has <laughs> inflicted. Okay. I'm imagining having difficulty like playing that asshole role as I'm trying to do this. And then of course, interactions with your crew and gang will be interesting. So, okay. Uh, as far as that goes, I need to pick some props. Uh, so I think, I think number one, I have to, I, I need, one of them I can get is my twins keys. So I think I've got full access to the, to the entire estate just okay. because I've got a copy of all your keys. Um, uh, man, it's a bummer. I was <laughs> one of my prop options, which I was, I was looking forward to if I got to play a bad twin was an evil sneer for the camera, but <laughs> 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 that's a good prop. Um, let's see. I think, I think I have, I think I have a photo of both of us as twins, like a you know, like babies, you know, like us in like the same little crib or something like that. Yeah, yeah. And then I think I also have when I'm not trying to impersonate you. I think I have a dashing scarf that I wear. Yes, I, I sadly have to take it off when I'm wearing suits and and slicking back my hair and putting on an eye patch on the wrong eye. But <laughs> okay. Um, all right, so I got those. I'll get those into the sheet here momentarily. Sure. Um, and then uh, as far as moves go, um, I got a uh, story spinner, which is when I coyly attempt to learn something about someone about someone while I'm pretending to be my twin, I get to uh, basically roll and then ask some questions. And there's some very good ones. Um, and then I also like this one. I picked that wasn't me. It says when someone flashes back to a scene with you or your twin, spend a leverage over the flashback initiator to switch who it really was. So <laughs> if someone, else, I can say no, that was actually me, or no, that wasn't actually me. That was that was you. So yeah. All right. Then I just need to pick a name here now that I know who I'm who I'm a twin of. Let's see. So you went with Alejandro, and. I will pick. I'll pick Fernando. How about that? Okay. Yes, Fern Fernando Delgado. I still have same last name, so we're good there. <laughs> All right. And are you? Uh, would you? Uh, uh, are you relatively recently arrived at the the estate? Yes. Okay. And we're just going to call it the estate with a capital T and a capital E, just so that uh, that'll be the the way we're going to refer to that. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, so that makes sense to me. Um, yeah, okay. So that, that gives us that. Um, with that in mind, uh, let me come back to uh, ask uh, Nieves um, what what is what is going to be your 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 suitors? Um, well, I'm not sure <laughs> if I know about Fernando yet. Um, so my suitors will be, uh, boy, I am, I just really like the, the bad boys and the bad girls. So okay. uh, Marcella and Alejandro are my suitors. Yeah. <laughs> one, one's a jerk drug dealer and the other one is rude <laughs> to the staff. Great. <laughs> oh, pobrecita. <laughs> that is, that is good. Um, uh, Kyle, are you cool with that? <sighs> Let's check in with. Yeah, yeah, that works for sure. Okay, I just want to make sure on that side of things. Okay, um, so we've got that set. Uh, anything else that we need to know before I go to these questions that are on everybody else's sheets? Okay, uh, I'm going to swing back then, uh, and uh, uh, Marcella, uh, we know that your father. Uh, is uh, 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 Alejandro's brother. What's your father's name? Uh, father's name could be... Uh, let's go Ricardo. Ricardo, okay. So Ricardo Delgado. He is the person who, who oversees all of this. Your, your grandparents have passed on. He oversees it. His skeevy uncle... Your skeevy uncle lives uh, uh, on the estate. Uh, we've got this uh, driver. Uh, we'll call him Reynaldo. Um, uh, uh, sort of younger. Uh, let's look at these questions. Uh, someone has seen you cry. 
who was it and what was it about um so it's got to be something really silly um so maybe it was um nieves okay. um and it was just like i don't know we were like all out of the tea that she really likes one day and it was just like the end of the world um <laughs> had a complete meltdown was it was it really about the tea uh <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it really was just about the tea. That's 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 no, interesting. No, she was having a bad she was having a bad day. It just pushed okay. her over the edge. And and what was uh uh Nieve's take on that when when she saw Marcella break down? She, oh not Marcella, right? uh, Nieve's take on it when you saw uh, Marcella break down. Um at first, I thought that it was uh, completely overboard and just a ridiculous reaction to have uh, to being out of her favorite tea. But then I realized that the tea was a metaphor <laughs> for all the things that she wished she could have that weren't money. Things that people like me, who work for a living with our hands, actually do have. Okay. That's why she was so upset. So you've you've written this whole story in your head about uh, her, her her depth. I have. Hey. Um, all right. Uh, the second one is someone has been immune to your charms so far. Uh, so I guess that that'll be that'll be Alejandro. I guess. Okay. Um. <laughs> So in 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 what sense in the, the the getting him you know to to spend money on you or what what are you imagining there? Yeah, maybe she's just like yeah, like really trying to like win his favor. You know, he's like he's like does all this bad stuff that like no one really knows about, but everyone knows that he does. Um, and so she's like tried really hard to like you know, suck up to him and like hang around him. Um, and just, let's just, just up. yes, just push the side, treat you like a little girl. Okay. All right. Uh, I like that. Um, uh, you have something valuable that you need to offload. What is it? Okay. Um, yeah. So I was thinking about this. Um, uh, maybe she, Maybe she went into her room um, recently, um, and there was like a stolen uh, a stolen necklace or something planted there um, from somebody really important, like like some big matriarch that 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 it would be really bad, um, and someone planted this necklace um, in her room, and she's now doesn't not wanting to take the fall for. But she certainly recognizes it. Yeah, and I think it's like kind of a big deal that it's gone missing. Like whoever owns this is like stirring up a big fuss. So uh, we'll say that's a uh, lady, Lady Nunez. Uh, there was a, a party recently, a big, big uh, soiree thrown on the estate, and the necklace went missing, and she raised. A huge stink about it, and uh, uh, she has a lot of power, and she's very angry with your father. Um, and you know, he's of course turned the place upside down, and he's looking for for the thief, and uh, probably punished a number of the servants for their for their uh, 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 lackadaisical attitude, and um, he probably suspects his brother of having some involvement in the theft of it. Uh, uh, but that's still overhanging on the family right now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Nieves. Yes. Uh, let's let's talk about your two questions there. First, the the brush of romance. Uh, let's see. Um, I had a a close a very close brush of romance with uh, with Marcella's driver. We should give him a name. Okay, uh, Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Okay. Uh, 
we're talking eyes meet, slow lean in, almost kiss. Why did it stall? Um, it stalled because uh, at that moment, Marcella, who was uh, late leaving the house, uh, suddenly appeared. Ah, excellent. Have you avoided him since then, or has he avoided you, or is it just sort of mutual awkwardness? It seems to me like he's avoiding me. Okay. All right, and uh, the the next one. Uh, this goes deeper than you realized. I caught. Okay. Um, I caught Marcella and Alejandro in a moment of plotting. What were they planning? Uh, I don't know what they were planning. Well, he still treats her like a little girl, so probably wouldn't be anything too dark. What would be the, the, the plot there, though? Um... Maybe it was a misunderstanding on my part. You know, it sounded to me like they were arranging some kind of a, like logistics for a heist. Ah. When in fact, they were planning a birthday party. Okay. And that'd be a, a great thing where the camera pants you and your eyes are getting wider. Just saying all the things about the birthday party. When of course, no one can know. We can't tell anyone. You know, exactly. It's a party. <laughs> That's right. Do you think you'll be able to finish off the cake? So, you know, <laughs> that kind of thing. Awesome. Uh, and uh, you've got this last bit. You heard Richard talk in the finery or the barrio that someone you love is in mortal danger. Who is the threat and how can you stop it? Oh, it's definitely, uh, I've heard that Alejandro is in mortal danger. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know why he, sure, he's a little rough around the edges and his import export business is a little vague, but who would, who would want to kill him? I, um, so, uh, the threat is, um, uh, it's a union leader from the docks. Okay. How can I stop it? Oh man. Now, do you imagine that this is a legitimate threat, or is this that another one of your, your the stories that uh, you exaggerate in your head? I think this is a legitimate threat. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we'll we'll name the union leader Ortiz. Okay. Yeah, I think Alejandro gave him some really offensive nickname. <laughs> nice. Excellent. Okay, let's uh, uh, come to. Uh, uh, Alejandro, let's look at Hola. your questions. <clears throat> okay. Someone used to work for you. How did the relationship break down? Um, uh, okay. Well, one of you is my twin that I don't know about. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I could have Nieves, but I was thinking about her for being the object of beauty that I want to possess. Oh, okay. Um, so wait, can I have the same person for both? Uh, you could have the same person for both, or you could put an NPC in one of those. Okay. Um, how about, um, Ronaldo, the, the driver for Marcella? Okay. And how did that break down? Um, I think he used to be part of my crew and, uh, he got asked to do something that he wasn't comfortable with and, uh, basically backed out and, um, I don't know, maybe he's, you know, working with, uh, my brother, uh, and Marcella now is kind of like protection from me okay try to you know this is another <laughs> rich guy please you know keep alejandro from that that makes me. sense it certainly it certainly gives him a reason to be to be there and and uh, avoiding you uh, and then uh nieves 
uh, 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 the you want it for the object of beauty you want to possess. Mm -hmm. And and how? What is it? Is it is it a physical beauty? Is it a a a a, a, a something better personality? What is it that that makes her beautiful to you? It's her imagination, <laughs> her flights of fancy. <laughs> I live in the dark, gritty, real world, but she lives in a fantasy land. That's, that's so beautiful. <laughs> I admire it. Excellent. And and how has, has she evaded you? Uh, probably, I don't know, running away. Okay. She does have keys to every room, right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah. Maybe there's like actual secret passages that she has used to like get out of you know, just try to avoid me. Okay. Like, like she wants to, you know, she's attracted to, you know, that's, she considers you, you know, one of her suitors. And yet at the same time, she's really torn about it. I mean, I am married. So, uh, right. So I will never be able to answer the question. Yes. For express your love passionately. Do they believe that you are single? Yeah. <laughs> That's well, okay. You, know, you can always do something about that. Yeah. But anyway, uh, some of your <laughs> extra legal businesses are being monitored by the police. What do you have to set up to throw them off your trail? Oh. Um, well, once I find out I have a twin, I think I'm going to have to try to fake my death using my twin's body. <laughs> right. <laughs> but uh, I don't know about my twin yet. Um, I think I'm going to try to frame my brother. Ah, okay. That, that's a classic, uh, a, a standard go-to move. So, uh, that works for me. Uh, Jesse, uh, let's hear about, uh, Fernando. Okay. Questions. Yeah, so someone knows me for who I am. I have to tell them how they can tell me from my twin. I think only one makes sense with this. I have, think it has to be Nieves, like the kind okay. of watchful um, servant. Like, does that sound reasonable to you, Brian? That that you know no, who totally. I am? Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. And but no I, one would ever believe her. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Cool. And of course, you're the, you're the only one that notices that I have an eye patch on the wrong side whenever I'm around. So I think that you can easily tell who I am, no matter what scene we're in. Um, so that works. All right. And my second one um, says, so someone had an intense moment with you. What was it? And do they know it was you? Um, I think so. Marcella is kind of has been somewhat pursuing Alejandro. Is that correct? Trying to get him to 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 treat her like an adult to to bring her into his inner circle. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think, I think sometime like I'm 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 relatively new to to the goings on here, but I think very early on I may have had a an interaction with Marcella that got intense in that way, and I didn't really understand how much of an asshole I had to pretend to be. So I think I was very receptive to everything she was saying and, and what, you know, however that went, um, you can, if you have Marcella, if you have any details you want to add to that, feel free here. Um, but uh, I think you did not know, did not know it was me and still don't. So you're, you probably are confused by the behavior. Yeah. I feel like that's probably thrown her for, for a big loop. Okay. So how intense was it though? Like, do you think like how, like what kind of interaction would you be having if, if Alejandro were receptive to you, what would you like, how would you be playing that? Uh, I think Marcella was like, you know, um, saying stuff like, I know you're up to like some secret things and like, you know, you can trust me and, you know, let me in on, on stuff and I can help you. And, you know, I got my dad in my pocket and all that stuff. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, oh, of course I, I yeah, and I'd be like, oh, of course I, 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 yeah, I can absolutely trust you, and um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know as things develop. Just <laughs> stay tuned, and then I know about it there. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, uh, there's a big event coming up that your twin is supposed to be at. 
Mm -hmm. uh, how have you made sure that you will also be to be there and to what purpose? Sure. Um, I, Alejandro, tell me if this seems reasonable. I think it's a big birthday bash for you, right? And that I happen to be showing up right around the time that your birthday is happening. And, and I managed to, let's see, how do I, how do I manage to get in? Um, well, I think it's just, I've, I've got your keys. I, I've got pretty easy access to everything. And then I think with the help of Nieves, or I'm, I'm able to kind of sneak in for the party and make sure I'm wearing exactly what you're wearing. Um. Uh, can, I, can I offer a, a slight modification to Please. that? Sure, yeah. How about it be a, a birthday bash for his brother, oh, which explains okay. why he was talking uh, uh, in coded language about a surprise party before. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Okay. So your brother's birthday, that sounds excellent. And um, my goal is to, I, th I think it's its what I talked about earlier, just that I, I'm, my goal is to start interacting with people that you do whenever you're not around so that I can get a feel for you and see if you'll be receptive to my need for a like liver transplant. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that was your motivation. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Um, All right. Well, that gives us a lot of material to, to work with. Um, I think here I'm going to we're going to take our five minute break. Uh, it's a little earlier than, uh, but uh, let's take five minutes. Give me a chance to to catch my breath from the whirlwind uh, melodrama there, uh, and we'll start throwing people into scenes when we All come right, out. Okay. Good. All cool. right.
<sighs> Man, well, I have newfound respect for people that write uh, telenovela scripts. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Get a conspiracy map. It's a lot of stuff happening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff there. Uh, I've I've written down quite a bit, um, but we'll see how, how it goes for that. Um, Alejandro, uh, uh, it is a few days away from your brother's birthday. What do you think about that? What what I mean, you you've helped with the planning. Martell has, has interacted with you on that. What's what what's your thoughts about what's going on with that? I think he should enjoy his last birthday. Or at least his last as a free man. Okay. <laughs> so you've already started to put some things into play, you think? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Like, okay. Um, like like what might happen at this party to, to further those aims? Uh, perhaps the reveal of a dead body in his bedroom. Oh uh, who knows? <laughs> Interesting. Uh, so nothing concrete yet? Nothing quite yet. Um it might be my wife, though. Okay. Uh, speaking of which, uh, uh, so uh, it's uh, uh, in the the later afternoon. Return back, perhaps uh, a little bit earlier than you meant to, uh, or that you were expected. Uh, come into the house. The servants, of course, uh, you know, uh, rush uh, uh, every which way to to get things straightened up. Uh, but when you've headed up to your bedroom, uh, you know, notice that the, the door is open and you can hear the sounds of someone inside. Doesn't sound like cleaning. Sounds like they're maybe going through some things in there. Well, as it happens, I am carrying my crazily large pistol. <laughs> as it happens. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to have to pull that out and jump into the room, barking out, who are you and what are you doing here? And there'll be a, a, a shriek, and uh, uh, you will see your wave, wife, uh, Adriana, uh, is there, and she kind of uh, drops the some of the, the, the clothes of the, the dresser that she was going through, and she, what are you doing? Don't wave that around. What are you doing? What are you doing? Rifling through our things like some common thief, some... Thieving servant, I don't know. Uh, you have your own bedroom, but uh, I was looking for a photo from the wedding for for a scrap album. See you should know the pictures. I am not a sentimental man. I have no photos of you. Gasp. Okay, Mark <laughs> XP. <laughs> and. Uh, she will will turn and she will say, "Well, you won't have to worry about me for much longer." And she storms past you. Oh, what does that mean? Uh. And, and heads out. Uh, I turn towards the camera and I say, "Yes, I won't." <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Um, uh, so you let her go. You didn't accuse her of lying. Um, uh, you kind of uh, interacted with it, but you didn't uh, didn't push too hard there. So uh, uh, let's uh, move from there. Uh, uh, Nieves, uh, what are you doing in preparation for this birthday party that you don't don't know? That that's what they were talking about, but you know, there's this party coming up for, uh, of course, uh, 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 Fernando. Oh, sorry, Ricardo. <laughs> <laughs> Right. That's gonna happen a lot. <laughs> Ricardo's party. Um, so I am uh, I am busy um, sort of ineffectually dusting and um, uh, making checklists. You know, do we have all of the uh, um, all the different cervezas and different kinds of wines that uh, would be required for this? Um, you know, do uh, you know the I guess that that kind of stuff it it, it involves a lot of um, uh, running around the house and uh, you know making sure that everything is is in its place. 
and and we'll we'll say that you're uh in the wine cellar and uh, getting uh something together when this shadow will kind of fall over you and you will turn and uh you will see that Ronaldo is there oh Ronaldo and he'll say Nieves Nieves steps closer to you why have you been avoiding me I've not been avoiding you you've been avoiding me no it is you who's been avoiding me oh, no, no. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> Listen, listen. I know there is something between us. Perhaps there is something between us, but my true love is Alejandro, who I can never have. Alejandro is a dog. He is. He's a filthy killer. You are. You're too good for him. He. He's just a little rough around the edges. At. Uh, he 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 kind of grabs you and he says, "Listen, listen! You have to give him up. You have to." I cannot. The heart wants what the heart wants. I think I'm going to have you roll with uh, to act with desperation to kind of forcing him to to kind of kind of push away from him right now. Okay. All right. <laughs> so what's your what's your what's your key question that you have on your sheet? Uh, let's see here. Um, are you in over your head? Where are you seeing that? Where is that at? Oh, uh, uh, just below your look. Oh, am I in over my head? Yes. That's yeah, your first I, might, question. I might very well be in over, over my okay. head. So that's plus one. Okay. And uh, under act with desperation, are you doing this for love? Yes. Yes, then it's another plus one. Um, are you doing this for vengeance? No. Okay, so you're rolling with a plus two. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Okay. Uh, so 10. 10. Uh, so describe to me how you, you shut him down and pulled away. Uh, I, uh, I get just about as close as two human beings can possibly get without actually touching before right. just slithering out from underneath his, his big, strong arms and, uh, and saying, uh, you know, Zinaldo, you just don't understand. It's it, the, 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 the passion of my love for Alejandro, it, 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 it cannot simply be, be moved or displaced or uh, otherwise covered. Uh, and, I, <laughs> and I split. She brought up the stairs. She shouts, he's only going to break your heart. <laughs> oh, man. Which I know. Uh, Marcella, uh, your father's birthday is coming up here uh and uh, you've been making some plans what what's the most most interesting thing that you've got sort of planned out for this celebration um the most yeah the thing that um that marcella is most excited about is while everyone's going to be like outside um, on, on, you know, eating and like sitting around tables. Um, she has these big plans to like ride on her horse with like a whole bunch of horses riding around her and it's going to be this big scene and they're going to like, you know, do laps around people. And she's oh, going to set that up. This of course requires some coordination with your uncle, uh, who you happen to run into in the main house. Um, uh, Fernando, you're traveling through the house kind of getting used to this what 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 you know the the paintings on the walls the bits and pieces that you know i mean you, you want to you're here just for the liver but <laughs> how beautiful this house is it's a little overwhelming where where what where, where were you raised uh let's see i think i was raised in um 
kind of a very poor part of a neighboring town um, and then have spent probably the last three or four years like overseas doing like humanitarian relief work and stuff. This is so much wealth. How can these people have so much money? Martella, uh, you, you find your uncle strangely admiring some of the, the paintings in the house. Uh, yeah, she goes up to him and says, uh, So uh, you're gonna you're gonna get everyone outside around uh, around four o'clock, right? Um, like like we discussed. I think I'm momentarily surprised, and then realize who it is, and then I kind of like stand up a little taller and just try and look a little more imposing, you know, trying to play the role. And I say, of course, exactly as we have discussed. Yes, that's exactly when I'll be doing it. Why are you questioning me about this? <laughs> Uh, you know, just I just I just want it to be really, really great, you know. Um, oh, don't you worry your pretty little head. It will be. <laughs> I think. So I think I, I think I'm, I'm trying to at this point not look like I was doing anything. And I think I, I know that I'm a little in over my head. I don't know what the conversation is about. I think I think I say, excuse me, I have other details to look after. And I try and try and at least uh, leave you right then and just walk past you. Oh, so he's trying to, to walk away from the conversation with you. I mean, what do you think, Marcella? Uh, no, Marcella just like keeps walking behind you and she's like, you know, she's still like shooting details at you. Uh-huh. And like, you know. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm, you're starting, like the camera is starting to paint on like a, like a drop of sweat coming down my forehead as I'm like, yes, yes, th that too. Um, uh, and I'm starting to sound a lot less confident and a lot less blustery as I'm trying to like keep all this straight in my brain. So, yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, so uh, we've got a couple of ways we could do this. Uh, Martella, um, uh, are, are you more concentrated on like getting something from him or are you trying to, to more read him? What do you think? Um, I think I'm trying to get something from him. Okay. Um, uh, because you want him to, to acknowledge you as a, you know, as an equal, not as a girl. And he's, he's just walked away from you. Uh, so I think you're demanding what you deserve. Yep, I think so. All right. So the first question: What is your 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 playbook's uh, special question? There. Uh, am I the center of attention? Am I the center of attention? Do you think so in this scene? I'm trying to be. Okay, so let's say yes to that, and then you uh, are you offering something of value in return? Um. Not so much. I'm kind of okay. just asking in this situation. And do they love you in this moment? Uh, no, I'm not feeling that either. Okay, so I, I need you to roll with a plus one. All right. And that is a 10. That is a 10, okay. Um, so uh, you get to remove one of the options from demand what they what you deserve. Uh, and then they get to pick a choice from the, the other three that are remaining. You can see that under the basic moves there. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll take away the first one. Okay. So uh, how do you react then, Fernando? So what I guess it depends on what's being demand like what's being demanded of me. Do I know that yet? Is it for she like she clearly wants your acknowledgement and is it just and that right now? Maybe. Okay. Is it just that or are you asking for are you wanting something specific out of me at the moment? Uh, I'm wanting you to like, you know, acknowledge and and like I want to feel like you're taking this seriously. Like I, I want, you know, you know. Okay. And you took which one off? I'm trying to tell you so the the one that says uh, they concede. Okay. Um, Escalate, right. weasel, or run away. All right. Um, I, I think. 
I think it's going to be weasel out of it. I think I might like almost, uh, this is probably a tone of voice you've never heard from your uncle before, but I think I'm just kind of like, I realize that you're not going to leave me alone. And I just say, please, I, I, I'm so busy. I just, I have, I have these other things I have to do. I need to, uh, I really, I, I, can we talk about this later? Is that, is that okay? Can, and then, then I start to, to kind of move away from the conversation again. Uh, um, and, and Marcella is just like standing on the stairs, just like devastation on her face. Um, and she just like watches him walk out. Yeah. All right. I, I, so I get around a corner, I get around, a, around a corner and like put my back up against the wall and I'm taking deep breaths and probably like wiping the sweat off my forehead. Like <laughs> <laughs> barely, okay. just barely got out of that one. Perfect. Uh, and uh, now Marcella, you can write that you have one leverage over Fernando, though you think it's over Alejandro. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, that's that gets a little complicated there. I think actually, I love that. Just kind of lost me, so I'll let you mark XP on that one. <laughs> Alejandro's reaction going to be when she goes to collect. Man. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, uh, Alejandro, uh, uh, mm. on that note, with, with you sort of, we cut from your twin to you. Um, You've got some some irons in the fire. You've got some plots and plans. Your wife has been sneaking around. Um, uh, you've got to deal with this union boss. There's still all this pressure. Um, you're not sure who stole that necklace, but uh, you know that that there's there's uh, a lot of attention that you don't care for. Um, in fact, you know that uh, the police have assigned a detective uh, to uh, the estate who is snooping around, you think he might not be snooping just for the necklace, but maybe, you know, sniffing at your heels. So what are you up to? Hmm. Oh, I have, I have too much going. <laughs> that you do. <laughs> All right. Well, that's why I have people. Uh, I think I'm going to um, I'm going to summon my uh, my thugs, uh, Yolanda and the crew. Okay. And um, they come, they arrive. They're leaning against things. They're thugs. Of course. You know, they stretch <sighs> out. They smoke inside. I stare at them until they use the ashtray. Oh, sorry, boss. No problem. Mm. Uh, there's... Mm. The detective is a complication. Uh-huh. I need him to be uncomplicated. Can you make him realize that he will not find anything snooping around here? You know... Make sure he gets the message. Oh, boss, that's uh, that's not just some rival crew member you're talking about. You're talking about a member of the police. Uh. I know, but uh, capable professionals such as yourselves, I know they can handle it. And they will handle it. Okay, okay. We, we can go do this. Thank you. Now? Yes, yes, of course. Sorry. Okay. They'll they'll get themselves together and uh, 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 they will, will head out onto the grounds. And uh, so this is a move. It is. Uh, are you taking control of the situation? Oh, definitely. Well... Sending yes. people to take control of it. That's true. Is, is it an easy job? Uh, no, no, probably not. Um, are, is your crew in good health? As far as I know. Yeah, they haven't been beaten up lately. So, uh, <laughs> not today. Yeah. All right. Let's have you roll with a plus two. Oh. Um, this is the first time I've used the role for party. Oh, okay. So what you'll do is you'll uh, you can either uh, create two dice for yourself, mm -hmm. and then later on you can just hit reroll selected for those when you select them. Oh. Okay. Um, or um, you can just reroll two dice. It's up to you. Okay. Uh, well, I did. I rolled 
Uh, with a plus two, I got an eight. Okay. So uh, they show up. So we, we cut to this scene of this detective who's kind of looking around um, and your crew shows up. Um, where, where do they corner him? <sighs> um, probably in, um, I don't know, the library. Okay. He's looking around the, the, the books there. Okay. Uh, and they show up. Just kind of come out from all the different doors to surround him. He gets the, the, he, he gets the high sign. He realizes what's going on. Um, uh, so on a hit, they show up to rough your target. On a seven to nine, your target twos is one. Uh. Let's see what he would do there. I think that uh, 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 they will will they will beat him uh, soundly. Uh, 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 what, what's what's sort of the, the crowning blow there uh, that they hit him with? Uh, I think they take uh, a really heavy old Bible off the shelf okay. and just oh. smash him <laughs> in the nose with it. And then with blood smeared on it, they put it back on the shelf. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, and uh, one of them says, that's that's for you, detective. Leave the estate. Leave Alejandro alone. Uh, 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 and he's he's getting up. Um, tell me, Nieves? Yes. Are you I, on site when this goes down? Yeah, I... Uh... I might have been heading to the uh, library for some uh, some surreptitious reading time. Okay, the Bible and, and so on. And you've seen this go down. Uh, this uh, uh, obvious uh, de detective has, has got beaten. Um, let's have you roll keys to the castle. Okay. Uh, Do you work here? Yes. <laughs> Are you dressed Am to I blend in in the library? Uh, well, I'm dressed as a maid. <laughs> I don't you know. Say yes. Okay. Yes. Take your pick on that. Okay. Uh, and what's your what's your base question? Uh, oh, are you um, in over your head? Yeah. Okay. Um, I think I'm in way over my head. I should have just turned right around and gone to make a snack in the kitchen. So you're rolling with a plus three. All right. Oops, I did that wrong. I'm sorry. That's okay. Uh, let me um, three roll it to two left. Um, boy, I am having trouble here with the dice. Um, I think I ended up with a four plus three is seven. Okay. Uh, so. Great. Uh, you get, get away, but, uh, someone sees you get away, you give them leverage. So, so what happens here? Uh, I mean, you're, you, they've called out Alejandro, you know, that they were sent by him, or at least they're saying that is, you know, um, uh, and this uh, detective's gotten beaten, but you managed to, you have to, to duck out who sees you. So it's all going, it's all going pretty well until, um, until Gabriel grabs the, uh, the, uh, Bible and uh does the finishing blow at which point i i kind of let out a little noise which uh which he heard and okay. uh saw me uh just for just a quick second the look of horror on my face as i got the hell out of there okay so the the, the one gabriel the one with the bible beat somebody with the bible bloody uh uh is the one who saw you get away um and yeah. you kind of rush out into the hallway uh marcella uh, you've been kind of shut down by your uncle. You've got some other plans. There's some uh, uh, other, 
members of the household around and about. What are you up to? Um, yeah, I think Marcella is probably supposed to be like doing things that she's supposed to do to get the party ready. Um, okay. but, but she's totally not, she's, uh, you know, hanging out at the pool or <laughs> she's just, uh, uh, relaxing, uh, uh, enjoying herself. Um, uh, you're, we'll see if you kind of feel that, that hot glare and, uh, you look up at my pool side and you will see your mother's there. Is this what you're going to do all day? Uh, you know, I've been, I've been working. Um, your father's birthday rest, is right? in two days. Sure, sure. I mean, you know, everything's everything's happening. Um, you can get off my back a little bit, right? Mom. Uh, she says, you need to shape up. You need to get your act together. If this uh, is all your life is, you're not the person that will be taking over when your father and I are gone. Ooh. Ooh. Um. You know what? You need to you need to back off. You know, I'm doing stuff and it's all going to get done and you need to just like show me some respect, right? Can't do things when you're hovering over me like a vulture. Oh, harsh as you strike out at your mother with your words. <laughs> um, uh, so uh, let me ask you, uh, have you caught her off guard with that? Yeah, I think so. I don't think she uh, I don't think she strikes out at her mom um, too often. Um, and, uh, uh, have, have, has, has your mom actually wronged you? Uh, sure. She was a little judgy, right? Okay. Yeah. That's from your perspective. Um, uh, and, uh, uh, I think center of attention probably, probably still holds here. Uh, let's have you roll All as right. you strike out. Okay. I'm going to roll some orange, orange dice. Okay. So seven plus, it was three that I had, right? Yep. Puts me at a 10. Okay. Uh, so uh, this hurts. Your mother kind of steps back. You've snapped at her and uh, 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 she backs off. Uh, she does gain one leverage over you. Cause kind of feel bad, uh, but she, she backs out and she is clearly, clearly upset. She's, She's not going to be bothering you for a while, but oh, that was pretty. That that that, that was you really I mean, uh, the, the accelerating that, pushing it up, escalating it. Does that uh, bother you or not? What what is what is Marcella's reaction to that? Um, I want to take something from her. What do I want from her? Um, yeah, maybe like throwing her off like this. Maybe I've like um, taken a little or like gained a little respect um, from her. So maybe, you know, maybe she'll back me up um, in a situation or something. Maybe, but uh, you have kind of cracked her facade, so she's going to be very stressed out for a while. But right. uh, you're hoping that that's what's going to happen. Sure. Um, uh, does that seem fine. reasonable? Sure. Yep. Uh, let me cut from you over to Fernando in the midst of all this chaos. Uh, you, you managed to evade uh, your niece... I think that's your niece. Your niece is, uh, 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 what does she want? You don't quite understand, but you managed to get away from that. Uh, now what do you want to do? 
I imagine that like I'm I'm here for a reason. I think I think I'm going to try to find Alejandro's wife. And I want to learn try and learn some things about Alejandro through through an interaction where she thinks I'm her husband. Okay. <laughs> if possible. So where where do you imagine you cross paths mm. with her? I think I probably go to my room, the same room that that Alejandro had kind of that that confrontation with her at, at one point. And I uh -huh. look in, and she's obviously not there. It's very clear when I look in, and I'm, you know, I'm, it's very clear that they don't share this room. And I think I'm a little confused by that. So I'm probably walking down the hall confused uh, at the moment. And she steps out of a room and, and is startled to see you, uh -huh. and very quickly. Put something in her, uh, 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 essentially shoves that something into her purse. Uh -huh. What are you doing here? Oh, you went uh, went out to play with your your goons. Oh oh, uh, um, I, I, uh, I I'm back already. Uh, hello, my dear. Uh, how are you doing today? What do you want? <laughs> well, what do I want? I'm speaking to my wife. Is that so unreasonable? Unreasonable? No. Suspicious? Yes. Have. Have I really been that bad to you? That Where you have you been sniffing me? that you would come back to me like this dog? <laughs> I've seen you, seen you with your niece. Ah, she uh, uh, wanted help with um, some details of preparing for the birthday party. I was discussing that with her. That's right, for your brother, the one who actually gets things done in this house. Mm -hmm. I think I think at this point, there's kind of like a pained look in my face as I'm realizing the dynamic here. And, and I think I ask her, what, what have I done to make you despise me so? And I'm trying to trigger my story spinner here when I coyly attempt to learn about someone while I'm pretending to be my twin. All right, let's, uh, let's have you roll. Uh, okay. what, what's a, let's see. The first question that you have is your base yep. one, which is, are you yep. taking advantage of your twin's reputation? I think obviously just by pretending to be him right now um, and, okay. and kind of using that, if, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, and then I, let's see, uh, do they love your twin is the one for the move, <laughs> one for the move and, and it doesn't seem to be the case. I, 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 well, of course, or, it, she says she doesn't, okay. but she wouldn't be angry if she didn't a little. So. Okay. So do we want to count that then? I'll give you a plus one for that. Okay. And then is there ample distraction? Oh, no. It's just no, you and her. It's just the two of, yeah, just the two of us. Okay. So I'll be rolling plus two then. Let's see. Okay. All right. Uh, and uh, Where's the... All right, so that is a 10. Oh, uh, so uh, you get three holes. Three, yes, okay, fun. All right, let's see. Um, a couple of interesting questions here. So, ooh, uh, yeah, let's just go, go with the most obvious one. How do you feel about my twin, first, first of all? He deserves to be behind bars. It's the oh. only way he's going to learn. Ouch, okay. Um, what do you owe my twin? Look at this estate. Look at this household. I mean, she may hate him, but she's had a life of luxury. Mm, so she's worried about that going away if she has to yes. make another choice. Okay. Um, and just for fun, uh, how could I make you angry at my twin? Oh, let's see. Since she's already so angry, I mean that's kind of a tricky yeah, I'm one. Yeah, trying but... to think what, what, what would make her angrier. Um, right. Insult her intelligence. Ooh. She clearly thinks that she's smarter than her husband. Yeah, I don't think that Fernando would go there. I think he's a little too like kind-hearted to actually try to even do that. So he okay. knows that he knows that that's a thing, but I don't think he would do it. Okay. All right. Just, just sees the, you know, yeah. 
self-esteem issues there. Okay. She looks at you strangely, and and uh, she goes to goes to leave, mm -hmm. and kind of maybe takes a, a glance back, and then rushes away. Mm -hmm. You know, keeping her hand very close on that purse where she stuffed those pieces of paper, and and runs downstairs. Yeah. And I think the camera might pan to me really quickly, just looking troubled and kind of confused and worried that my brother is like such a piece of work. <laughs> That's fair. Um, uh, again, it's always good to cut from you to your brother. <laughs> uh, Messer Delgado uh, took care of the situation. Splendid. And the detective has left the grounds? Yes, he's headed out. Uh uh, hopefully anyone else they send will be more circumspect. Well, one can hope. Uh, there yes. was one thing. Please, tell me. When we ran into the detective, uh, we checked to make sure that the coast was clear, of course, as, as you can imagine. Um, but, uh, there was someone hiding away in the room who saw us. And who was that? One of the maids from the main house. The one with the books. Oh, yeah. yes. The, the, the scattered braid one with the wild imagination. Thank you for telling me. I don't think anyone will believe her, but uh, still, we could take care of her. What's one maid? What did you say? Everyone else is like, uh, they, they're, they're like a little surprised by that. Uh, we could take care of her. It's just, just, it's just a maid. No one will notice. <sighs> The rest of you leave. I wish to speak to Gabriel. They get up quick, like fast. <laughs> uh, Gabriel's still sitting there. He uh, looks and watches them go quickly. He puts his cigarette out very carefully in the ashtray. Uh, yes, boss? I want you to understand something. I notice her. I would miss her. I will never hear those words come out of your mouth again. I don't want to hear them on your tongue or you will have no tongue. If they pass your teeth, I will remove those teeth. Do you understand? Yes, I'll have it. Well, because you took care of my problem today. I am feeling very generous. So, get the fuck out. Oh, boss. <laughs> and he rises and uh, 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 goes uh, quickly. Um, but you know, you still have to deal with Nieves. I mean, no one will, no one will believe her. But, but yes. What did she I, see? What did she hear? I must find out. I must, uh, I don't want to lose her. That girl, she is something special. It's my so, uh, beauty. Uh, uh, El Jefe, would you, would you try to track her down? Oh, of course, yes. Okay. Um, so Nieves, that, that, that shook you, right? Yes, it did. Did you go back thing. and clean that Bible? <laughs> um, uh, it is it is first on my list of things to do after I finish uh, hiding in my little servant's room. Is that where El Jefe finds you or, or somewhere else? Yes, I'm I'm uh, I'm praying in my okay. little servant's room. I open the door. Do is you react? Knock? Oh no, yes, I don't I... knock. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I jump up and and smooth my my uniform and uh, put my hands in front of my my body and I'm like, oh, uh, Senor, I I'm, I'm sorry. I was just taking a brief moment to genuflect. Of course, I 
don't wish to interrupt. May I ask, though, interrupting, <laughs> what are you reflecting on at this hour? Oh, just just thankful to be working at the estate and with such a wonderful family um, and, uh, and um, praying for protection from demons. Uh, you know how it is. I know much about demons. The ones inside. <sighs> I know. I know, Nieves, that you saw something ugly today. Oof. I'm sorry. I do not say those words often, ever really, but I am sorry. Oh, Alejandro, thank you. I, it was terrible to see. And they used a Bible, but <laughs> I, I knew that they, were, that they were probably going off on their own. You probably just told them to escort the detective out and they went crazy on him. And you're just a little rough around the edges, that's all. <sighs> I'm glad you understand. Those men, they aren't me. I did not want them to do that. I, I know I am a, an uncouth man, but I am I'm not a monster. I no. am not a demon. No, no. I, I am going to pause here because Jesse did point out that, that we, there's, there's something that happened here is that uh, she kind of accused you of lying to your face a little bit there. In a very gentle way, in her <laughs> own particular way. It's true. Oh, man, this is great. I get to use all my mom's skills in a game. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so let's let's look at those those questions on that. Um, Nieves, are you in over your head? Oof. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay. Always. Always, yeah. <laughs> uh, you don't have an extra audience, so that's a no on that. Um, do you do you think you have evidence? Yeah, I have evidence. I have a bloody Bible back in the library. All right, let's have you roll then. Oh, with no. a plus two. All right, uh, let's see here. Um, I will take uh, green plus two. Come on. Eleven. That's an eleven. Uh, you get to pick three from the accused someone lying, of uh, lying group there. All right. Um... You're right. I think is obviously one of them. Yep. <laughs> um. They admit their falsehood. So I have a choice there, Alejandro. Will you admit stress. it yeah. or will you mark stress? Oh, um, well, I think melting down will be fun. So I'm going to mark stress. Mark stress. <laughs> and your third choice? Uh, I will uh, remove the one leverage that Alejandro had against me and, uh, and slip out from under, from right past him out of my little room um, saying that I need to continue preparations for his brother's party. She leaves. She, she, she ducks away from you to escape. She clearly didn't believe you. I grab her arm as she tries to pass me. <laughs> oh, Alejandro, what? <laughs> Don't walk away from me. I love you. Oh. My passion for you fills my heart full to bursting. And I will not let you treat me this way. Hand gripping hard. Uh, I think you're expressing your love angrily. <laughs> it does seem that way. <laughs> oh, Jesus. The dice. <laughs> what have I done? Uh, so, uh, 
Sorry. Uh, have you caught them off guard? Um, I don't know. Have I spoken to you so harshly before, any of us? Uh, yeah, it's part of the uh, attraction. Okay. Fair enough. Then no, I wouldn't have. <laughs> have they her. just wronged you? In my opinion, but not really. <laughs> okay. Um, and uh, uh, are you dressed to impress? Um, well, I always have my finest tailored suit on, of okay, course. So that's, that's a plus one. And uh, do they believe you, you are single? No, okay. they do not. So roll, express your love passionately <laughs> slash angrily with a plus one. And a ten. All right. Uh, uh, your target has to choose two of those options. Let's see. Where are the options at? Uh, under express your love uh, passionately. Uh, uh, give themselves to you. Reveal a secret they probably shouldn't. Oh, Mark yeah. stress to conceal their feelings or give you leverage. Um, two of these? Two of these you have to pick. Okay. I will... I will reveal to you it isn't my place, and I'm sure you already know, but the union leader, Ortiz, down at the dock, he does not like the nickname you gave him, and he wants to kill you. And I will, uh, I, I, I want to, she wants to give herself to you, but, you know, you're married, so she's going to mark off stress to conceal her feelings. Oh, oh. man. So you speak those words. She tells you that. That that gives you a moment of hesitation. But then she's going to break away. My thoughts preoccupied, clouded with anger and passion. I let her go. <laughs> Excellent. Nice. Awesome. Excellent. Uh, I asked a uh, Pope Recita on that one. Pope 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 yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Uh, Marcella. Uh, you've kind of spoken with your mother, kind of, uh, 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 maybe made her upset. Um, uh, what, what it, kind of spoiled the afternoon of sitting around the pool. Um, what would you do next? Um, I think um, Marcella, you know, after after her the scolding from her mom, um, kind of remembered that that necklace um, that that was found in her room um, that she's super worried about. Um, so I think she's trying to hatch a scheme um, to have somebody get rid of it for her. Okay. Um, so she probably goes to see uh, to see her driver, okay. um, Ronaldo, someone she can trust really well. You will uh, head down uh, to uh, uh, see Ronaldo uh, down to the car, um, and uh, when you get down there and kind of come into the garage, there's that moment of kind of up uh, uh, and you see him kind of move and step, put some space between him and your mother. Okay. And uh, she goes, yes. Uh, so make sure that the, the car is uh, ready. And she heads out and uh, Ronaldo turns. Uh, Miss Delgado. Um, yeah. She, Marcella walks up to him and, um, and she puts a hand on 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 his arm um, and says, uh, "Ronaldo, um, 
of all the people around here, you are you are by far my favorite. Um, you're somebody that that I really feel like I can trust. You know, you're just a really great guy. Um, I have a really big favor to ask you. I uh, what uh, what is it that you want? Um. Well, you know, I'll, I'll I'll make sure that your life, um, you know, if you can do this for me, I'll make sure that that things go real cushy for you, um, from here on in. You know, you won't have to go get me my my lattes or anything anymore. I'll, I'll find somebody else to do errands. You can just, you know, laze around a bit. But I need you to make something disappear for me. And he's 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 kind of moving around now, working with the car, kind of like just listening but not you know not making eye contact kind of uh, uh, avoiding you in that way but listening and she goes goes uh something or someone <laughs> and she laughs like hysterically it's like oh you're so funny it's hilarious um uh, no no just some something uh i don't know how it how it wound up in my room but um you have to make it disappear. I'm like terrified. What is it? Oh, you know, the other night when there was the big stink about the missing necklace, like I swear I didn't do it, but somebody must have planted it on me. It was in my room and, you know. Are you serious? You took the necklace? <laughs> no, no, I swear I didn't. Of course, he I wouldn't. Looks, I wouldn't do kind that. of still, he, he looks, looks away. Um, I think you're demanding what you deserve. You're trying to, to get him to do something here. Yeah. Um, he's he's deliberately kind of avoiding eye contact with you. His thoughts are still elsewhere. So I don't think you're necessarily the center of attention here. Right. Um, but you are offering him something of value in return, right? I uh, sure am. And he doesn't love you in this moment. No, it doesn't seem to. So roll with a plus one. All right. I'll get rid of those. And roll two. That is a six. Didn't go so well. It goes, okay, I'll do that for you. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's super relieved. Good old uh, Ronaldo. Do you have it? Do you have it on you? Uh, yeah. She like sneaks it out of her purse um, and like you know drops it into the car window or something. She goes. It was good. He was goes. Uh, it was good that you came to me. I I can take care of this. Great. Thank you, Ronaldo means so much to me no thank you i am i'm a driver a humble driver i'm at your service and he'll give a slight bow uh as he picks the necklace up in his hands glints in the light as we we cut from that scene uh who do we cut to next who has a scene they want I've been kind of forcing the the uh, agenda I, a little bit here, Jesse. It looks like you have something you want to do. I do. Um, uh, so I'm imagining the scene with uh, Nieves and and Alejandro happening, and then very quickly thereafter, as she leaves, she like bumps into me. Um, like you know, kind of almost like next instant, and I'm imagining us like kind of sneaking into like an alcove. Or or a smaller room, you know, for a, for a quick conversation because you're the only one that knows who I actually am. Um, right. Yeah, I, I think I think I might be be kind of just like telling you about all these. You know, I've, I it's like I I know that you've said that my brother, you know, he may have rough edges, but he's got this heart of gold. I, I I'm just not seeing it when I talk to people. You know, I just spoke to his wife, the anger and and the you know feelings of of betrayal and and. It's just it, it worries me considerably that that my brother is not the kind of person who who I need who who could help me. I, and I think I trail off and I don't I don't think you I don't think I've told you that I need a liver <laughs> a transplant. <laughs> but 
<laughs> yeah, I'm just kind of verbally like telling you all this stuff and my concerns and worries that I just don't know. I'm kind of trying to lean in to process your feelings out loud uh, at you know to you here. Oh, um, interesting, interesting. Yeah, if that's if that seems reasonable with where this is going. Yeah, I, I like yeah. that. Um, so uh, let me let me ask the the. Uh, uh, the t two members of the audience who who aren't in the scene then um uh, uh our, our other audience members uh Kyle uh and uh uh Matt are are you rooting for Fernando Absolutely yes okay yeah totally. what about you Kyle Totally yes yeah first all right uh roll with a plus 2 then all righty let's see All right, plus two, that is nine. Okay. Um, so you have to choose one. The audience mm -hmm. reveals a crucial event going on outside of you. Uh, the audience tells you how you might find love with a partner of your choice. Mm -hmm. The audience tells you how you might get something to do something. Ooh, okay. Um, <laughs> there's the big one there, but I don't know if I'm ready to go there yet. I feel like it's still too early in our story to go for that last one and be like, how do I get a kid or a get a bit of liver from my brother? Um, sure. I think, I think, um, <laughs> I think I want the audience to reveal a, a crucial event going on outside of you. Okay. Uh, Kyle or Matt, do you have one that you think would be good? F you know, uh, either something we've, that uh, we've seen in another scene or something that, that you want to come up with that, that is a crucial event that he could know. I'm not sure what he doesn't know. I think at this point, I'm still just barely piecing this together. I'm getting the idea that, you know, like the, the only person that I can talk to here is Nieves, right? Who has mm -hmm. a very interesting skewed view on you. I mean, you know, at least from my perspective as, as you know, but it's like, so I've only got information really from them from little little bit of interaction with Marcella that I had you know that we talked about and during character creation mm -hmm. um, and then and then yeah it's it's just just rumors other than that I've never interacted with you I don't yeah so I'm still I pretty mean, new I mean maybe something something about the whole police situation and how he's like you know or that uh, Ortiz the uh, union leader is going to I've got up. I've got one for that how about this oh. Uh, we cut to a scene with that detective who's like nursing his his black eye, and he's like, "Oh, oh my god!" And uh, he looks up and he goes, "You didn't have to hit me that hard." Oh. And we see Yolanda. He goes, "I had to make it sound real. This guy's dangerous. He doesn't trust anybody." Uh, but uh, he <laughs> did find something out. What? apparently has a sweet spot for one of the maids from the main house. <laughs> How's that for a reveal? Yes. That was good. That was good. That's like the right before commercial, like <gasps> gasp moment. Yeah. Nice. Um, uh, that, that seems like a good, a good moment there. Um, uh, are you happy with how that, that goes? What's, let's let me ask what uh, Nieves' reaction is to all of that. Huh. well, she, uh, you know, she feels uh, bad for Fernando, and she is beginning to, she's beginning to think that maybe Alejandro has more than just a few rough edges around him. Um, and uh, you know, she. I, I will try to help you in any way that I can. Uh, you you seem um, like a good person, and you've been thrust into this situation, um, you know, for obviously your own personal agenda reasons. But I'm sure that there are good reasons, and um, you know, anything that I can do to to help you. But please, be careful. There are things that happened here today that, you know, it goes beyond family politics. It can be very dangerous here. I thank you for that warning. And um, I think I might even just say how honored and touched I am that you 
that you feel that way and that that you know that you've been so kind as to as to not reveal my identity and that you know that uh, I'm, I'm grateful for any any help you can provide but just know that if you need anything and i'm around you have you have you have my i have your back as well thank you fernando it looks so much like alejandro so hard to tell them apart <laughs> If only he didn't have that unsightly uh, eye patch on the wrong eye. Yes, <laughs> just, just can't really, get past that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Nieves, where do you go after that? Um, after that, um, I think that I would. Uh, I'm going to go to the um, conservatory because surely there's a conservatory of some kind, or maybe it's the um, the, uh, the sort of open area in the center of the estate um, that they, because uh, a lot of those places are sort of set up like Roman colonial style. Right. And uh, I'll, I'll take some time to uh, write down some of the important events of today um, in a loud uh, narrative voice uh, in my diary. Nice. I think, can I, can I have like a little bit, like, I think that's happening and, you know, like we're seeing you walking away from me and I think I'm looking at you with that kind of look that is like, you know, like just, just realizing what an incredible person you are and maybe a little bit of like longing in that view, just kind of like a new realization in my mind that there's something special about her. Absolutely. You know? and, it, and we've got the, yeah, we've got your like narration going over the top of these scenes. <laughs> Uh, and uh, Alejandro, I'm going to cut to you because you'll see some police officers. They're at the main house. Uh oh. Um, oh. Uh, stay away or check it out. Um, I'm going to have to check it out. Hey. So we cut to you. We you see them walking along. Um, Marcella. Marcella, the cops are here. Oh shit. And <laughs> you will see the cops no, there. She thinks and everything's the great, though. Yeah, she right. thinks she's fine. Uh, uh, but you'll right. see your mother is with the police officers, and uh, you see them march, and they go, and they are marching, and you see them march into the conservatory. Uh oh. Okay. And you see. She's, she's following from a distance. She's okay. just wanting to stay close and watch. Kind of wa you're kind of watching. Alejandro is watching. Um, uh, Fernando is in the distance. Doors open, swing open the conservatory where you're sitting right now uh, there in the Eves. You see the police come in and you see your employer, uh, uh, the Mrs. Delgado. And she says, Nieves, I, I can't believe it was you. I stand up and I, I, I put my, my diary behind my back and I say, what, what, are you, what, what are you talking about? What am I being accused of? I've done nothing. You see one of these police officers lift up this necklace and say, we found this in your room. Son of a... <laughs> <laughs> Think about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And that's where we're ending the session for tonight. That's oh. the, the mid-episode mid, uh, uh, cut. Oh, uh, I could have and... seen that coming a mile away. <laughs> 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 nice. Uh, so I that's what we will pick up uh, next time. Um, uh, so, do you guys uh, mind if I take a couple minutes to do the roses and thorns? I usually wait till the second session, but we kind of cut a little early here, uh, so I'd like to take a chance to do that if you guys don't mind. Sure. Um, let me see. Uh, I usually do thorns first. Um, I'm still getting used to when to call these moves. Uh, I, I think I got better as we went along, but I felt like I wasn't kind of pointing us to them early on. I'm still getting used to that. So I'd say that's my thorn on me is I want to make sure that we're getting to those. And I need to, between this session and next, is really look and make some notes for myself on the moves that each of you have individually so that we can can roll through those smoothly. Um, Matt, any thorns? Um, I Kind of the same. I... I actually printed out the moves so that I could, you know, have them on hand here physically, and I just, just I know, kinda, I know, because when I get into playing play. it, yeah, then you yeah. know, look at them. You're not really engaging with the 
the mechanics of the game, but I'm, uh, uh, yeah. So, um, maybe try. I'm gonna try to think about that a little more uh, next time, and also to get leverage on people so that I can flash back to shocking truths. Oh yeah, um, we got this wonderful flashback moves. I didn't even look oh, at yeah. those. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, uh, it's a new system, yeah. so I think. Yeah. Uh, Kyle, any thorns? Um, I feel like I've kind of like talked Marcella into being really young, and I feel like a lot of the moves need like intimacy and like being sexy, and that feels kind of weird to me because it feels like she's a little kid. Okay, mm. let let let's see. Uh, we'll we'll try and and uh uh. Uh, lean out of that next time. Kind of try to 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 play up, and we'll try to play into her moves uh, a little more forcefully next time. Because you are Plus, the beauty, right? Yeah. Yeah. Plus, in soap operas and telenovelas, it's not like they don't just occasionally replace actors, you know, for roles. Maybe <laughs> maybe in this next one, you're replaced by a different actress who's a little bit older, so that's a little more appropriate. Just yeah. and, and nothing's mentioned, of course. It's just the same character, just a different person, and and all the yeah, everybody reacts normally. Exactly. Fair enough. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Jesse, uh, what about yeah. you? Um, the only big thing I can think of is just how much is dependent on having leverage and not really having a good feel on how to like get that. You know, like I feel like that was a tricky spot. Like some of the so many of these moves depend on having having you know one or more leverage on a character and. And I'm not really sure, like, that was probably, you know, possibly on me for, like, I should have been going for maybe moves that would generate that or whatnot. But still, I'm not feeling like, how do we get enough leverage to, like, actually use yeah. these? That's really interesting. Uh, it does look like demand and expressing yeah. love seem to be the ones that, that generate leverage. I need to look and see if there's any yeah. way. No, there's a lot of removes. But, yeah, I should, should take a look at that more closely. But even, yeah, even even those, like, it's very, very possible that, that most of the time those moves come up that they wouldn't because you're only picking some of those options. So, you know, it's it's going to be only a percentage of times that those come up that leverage will result. But I don't know. It's just interesting. No, I, I mean, look at that. That's a, that's a really good point. Um, Brian, what about you? Any uh, 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 thorns? No, you know, it's uh, this, just the same thing that Jesse was saying at the beginning. My, my only thing would be, um, you know, don't anybody be afraid to suggest e either in chat or verbally that it might be a good time for a move because... Yeah, I appreciate that, that yeah. That was, yeah, that's very helpful. Um, and that move actually managed um, to remove the leverage that Alejandro had against Nieves by doing that move. So that was that was pretty crucial, you know. Um, but... But I want the leverage. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? Um, uh, let's do roses real quick. Um, uh, I, I like. Uh, I like that you guys are kind of taking charge. That you got. I know you know what you want to do. You you're going to hand off the necklace. You're gonna, you're going to push on this. Um, I I felt really good about that. That you guys were were. You know, I I pushed a little hard at the beginning, but then you guys were were pulling on that, and so I I was happy with that. I thought that went well. Um, so that that'd be my rose. Matt, any roses? Um, I mean, nothing in particular stands out, just because I every I enjoyed everything. <laughs> That's fair enough. Michael. Yeah, I'm uh, sorry. It was all just too good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right, it's a is, good group. You guys, you guys took to it like uh, you know very well. So I'm happy yeah. with that. This is my first Gauntlet game. So oh, really, um, okay, yeah. awesome. welcome, awesome. Yeah, I'm a, a newbie, and uh, I'm just, I'm just enjoying it, man. Oh, good, good. I'm glad you're digging <laughs> cool. it. Cool. Uh, what a crazy off kilter game to start with, too. This is wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm, I wanted to play this, uh, so I'm glad I'm getting awesome. uh, Kyle, any roses? Uh, yeah, I, I just love how how funny everything is and it's just like it's such a silly topic to be playing and and i like how everyone's playing into it and it's it's a lot yeah. of laughs i love i love melodrama i love high melodrama like this it's 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 wonderful you know i've been doing Wu Lin games too which is all melodrama as well so uh <laughs> I, I'm, I'm digging that uh jesse any yeah, roses um sure uh First of all, I just love how everyone's just really playing into that drama. Like, I feel like every all you know, all you guys are really doing that, and it's just making this so much fun and so it just silly in a, in a great way. Um, I, I Lowell, I'm I'm loving how you're 
like just putting in certain like not even necessarily twists but like just kind of turning the screws on us in a few ways like i loved when you had uh the um one of one of alejandro's gang members talk about like taking care of nieves and yeah. you know then some of the twists at the end there it's just like the way you're pushing this is like these are those <gasps> gasp moments in these shows and i'm like i, I think you're just nailing that i'm loving it oh, so good. i'm glad you guys yeah. are digging it yeah awesome a lot of uh, Brian, you get last word. Yeah, I'm I'm enjoying it a great deal. Um, I I'm think so it glad a... you didn't see that coming. <laughs> yeah, no, I was I was completely shocked, and then I just felt like that so was betrayed. Great. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, it's uh, you know, it, it provides uh a lot of guidance, which which I like a lot in a game mm -hmm. like this. Um, and it it brings back for me personally, just a lot of really good memories of being in Chile with my grandparents. And we would watch the telenovelas uh, in the evening, you know, um, they, they weren't like, uh, like American ones that go on like for a decade. They would, they were like more like mini series. Mm -hmm. So oh, really? you know, there was the one that took place on Easter Island because Chile owns Easter Island. And then there was the one that took place in a certain neighborhood that, you know, my grandfather actually grew up in. And That's I awesome. mean, they were just, they were just awesome and gripping. And it's like, you know, it's cool to have a game where I can have those memories again, too. Awesome. That's cool. Yeah. I'm so glad. Um, uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, I'm going to stop the recording in a second. Um, and that second is now.